If David Marquez could predict the future, he might feel more confident about his company. It makes electric heaters. Britain is a key market for him, at least for now. Marquez is nervous. He's already feeling the uncertainty ahead of the Brexit referendum. We had calculated our prices on a fixed euro-pound exchange rate. Now they're paying us 12% less than we budgeted for. That means the weak pound has cut our profitability by 12%. Spanish companies exported over 18 billion euros worth of products to Britain last year. The country is also the top location for Spanish foreign investment. Take, for example, the big bank Santander and its smaller counterpart Sabadell. The UK accounts for a quarter of their revenue. That's also true for energy firm Iberdrola, as well as airline Iberia, a partner of British Airways. A Brexit would be a bitter blow for Spain's economy. We're in a protracted period of gradual economic recovery, and that's after a serious crisis. A Brexit would be hard to swallow and could slow Spain's recovery. David Marquez has kept up to date with the latest studies on the economic fallout of a potential Brexit. The past few weeks have triggered a lot of uncertainty. Jitters about a second Spanish general election in six months only add to this. But Marquez is focused on Britain. We've grown 40 percent in Britain. In contrast, in Spain, we've grown just 4 percent. So which is more important to us? Of course, it's the market where we're growing 40 percent. Spain's post-crisis return to growth could stumble if British voters choose to leave the EU. The first task of the next government could be to find a way to protect itself from the fallout.